Hello everyone, this is Sander, the developer of Catrain, and today I'm going to go through how I would use Catrain to play a teaching game against AI. Let's start by setting the AI to white, and use the new calibrated rank AI. Let's have a look at the teaching game settings. So if the move is really bad, then worse than a 12 point loss, you'll potentially get three shots at it, but the game will undo it twice for us. And as we get to good moves, so between 0 0.5 and 1.5, the move will not be undone. The default settings of this value is 0 0.5, so that means that for moves between 1.5 and 3 point loss, the move will be undone half the time, sort of randomly. This is meant to encourage you to read and not abuse the undo move function. Too often. However, as I'll be playing 9x9, nine nine, I'll keep this at 1 to make the uh, recording a bit more predictable. And for, due to the fact that in 9x9, nine nine, a 2 point loss is a lot bigger than 90x90. 90 90. I've turned off showing feedback for AI players. It means this value of 3 essentially means it only shows my last move. Since the last move tends to be AI, the move before that my own, and move before that again AI. So these are fine. Let's have a look at the AI strength. It's set to 4Q, which is around three or four stones stronger than I am, which is fine for a teaching game. The uh, undoes give you a little bit of extra strength. Next up, you'll notice that I've disabled most of the panels here. So the score graph is hidden, the win rate is hidden, the score is hidden, and I've turned on the notes. This is how I like to play my teaching games with most of the information that might give away um, too much all hidden. Actually, the only thing I keep is the punch loss, which is shown anyway on the board. So let's get started. I'll keep this to 9x9. Nine nine. I usually prefer 19x19, 19 19, but this way the video will be of a sort of manageable length and I'll be able to show you lots of the interesting features and maybe a quick review afterwards. Let's get started. Start the timer and play with Katago tells me is the best opening move, which is one off center. So let's see what happens. And as you can see, it does not show whether the ice move is good or bad. And especially with these new AIs, you can't be certain it hasn't just made a blunder. We'll go here. Okay. The first teaching moment, this B5 move here. Is considered to lose 1.95 points. So now we, I can hover over this move and see what the AI would play in response to it, which often gives away what is going on. But it is always a good idea to first see if you can figure it out by yourself. Now 9x9 nine nine tends to be very um, narrow in what kind of moves it does. Uh, likes and doesn't like. So it can be a bit more difficult. Uh, okay, I guess correctly that this push is at least very much sente and maybe this beep here is as well. No, it is not. I suppose there is a very, very uh, harsh Atari right here. So maybe this bump is better and it is. And we will connect against this beep or rather we will not apparently protector corner and this is another interesting moment here this move loses 2.8 points uh, which would normally be undone with power settings but given that it was my second move and the undoes were set to one and not to two it will simply be played this is to stop you being from too frustrated with every move being repeatedly undone and we're just a yummy here, but that's fine. Let's press down. Okay, this loses 1.9 points. And again, here you see that the second option I chose was actually worse than the first. Probably because we could have Tinukit and uh, we've just double killed the stone that was already dead. But we can see that in review. Okay. This is apparently really bad. Yes, 
I see we could push through and destroy significant amounts of territory here. That's interesting. Ooh, and that is another big mistake here. Maybe we can do this and take away his corner. And sure, come in a bit more. I am not very practiced in 9 by 9 as you may see. And but maybe that's an interesting way of showing you all the features. And connect. And is the white dead here? I certainly hope so. And let's go here. Wow, this loses 14.4 points. So we are probably in a very heavy life and death situation. For one player or another. Yes, I see. The AI has actually blundered. I sometimes assume that Catagos moves are actually always good, but of course these uh, weakened AI players, they do make Q-level moves, and with that, Q-level mistakes. Let's see what's going on here. And hopefully we can commit a nice bit of murder here on the AI's groups. That looks to me like he is dying in goatee. Uh, yes. I, again, hope so. Uh, and this is dead. Just maybe we can do some endgame over here. No, we cannot. Okay, let's see what's going on. It seems possibly he can save his corner. And we can prevent that. Okay, let's push in and get some endgame. And you get some end game. He connects, and we should be done here. And I think we can pass. And we've won by 46.5 points. So, as you see, even though the eye was set too significantly stronger than me, I won by a big amount. Um, Possibly I could even set the AI to one down to put up a reasonable game since this undo feature is really quite strong. Let's pause the timer. I should probably fix that to do it automatically when the game ends. And we can go to analysis. As you can see in analysis, I like to have things a lot richer. Uh, so a lot more analysis information and we can see that we were winning throughout most of the game. There's some up and down here. And the winner, it was essentially 100% throughout most of the game. Uh, which is not too surprising, as the mistakes that would have caused the loss were all done. And we see we made some mistakes here. So let's have a look what was going on at this point in the game. So we can double click on this move. Uh, I may have been a little bit glitch here, which is because if you click on it once, it will show a variation without actually moving you physically to that point in the game. Whereas if you double click, it will go there. Like that. And where were we? We were here. All right. Uh, so at this point, you can start exploring variations and so on. Uh, do your normal review process do more analysis and so on, but I'll leave that for another video. I hope this was helpful to you, and if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments.